In this video, I'm gonna tell you about what you need to know about raising chickens and ducks together. And later, I'll talk to you about the coop that you would need for chickens and ducks and the health issues to be on the lookout for. Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to the website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. It's only a matter of time before a chicken lover like yourself decides to add a duck or five to the flock. With their adorable good looks and humorous farm antics, ducks are tough to resist. It quickly becomes a homesteading staple raising chickens and ducks together. Now, before I dive in, I'd like to say that if you're going to do this, it's best to introduce ducks and chicks together at the youngest age you can. Anyways, it has been said that ducks are the new chickens and it isn't hard to see why. They lay beautiful large eggs all year and tend to be friendlier actually than chickens, making them fun family pets. I remember our first two ducks. They were quick to become attached to the children and they would not separate. If they lost sight, they would cry after them until the little ones would return. They grew out of the separation anxiety, but it left an imprint of how friendly and attached ducks can be. While you can raise chickens and ducks together, there are certain differences that any owner needs to take into consideration when adding new fowl to their flock. Keeping these two birds together requires a little bit of tweak to coops and equipment. So the first part, chickens and ducks actually have different water needs. Ducks naturally go hand in hand with water, but it is impossible to keep ducks without a pond or a small pool. And if you don't have this, they will most likely set out to find one elsewhere. They love to splash throw around water and generally make a muddy mess. But ducks won't be like fish out of water if they don't have a kiddie pool of their own. Chickens, on the other hand, prefer to stay dry at all costs. Unlike ducks, chickens do not have waterproof feathers that keep them dry and warm. So if a chicken gets unnecessarily wet, it can become chilled or sick. Ducks have oil glands that are activated when they preen their feathers. This oil keeps their feathers waterproof. If you wanna check out how ducks keep their feathers waterproof, I can link to an article in the description. Interestingly, a duck's love of water isn't just because they love to swim. Chickens obviously need hydration, but ducks need water for two other reasons. Ducks use water to help aid in digestion. They will take a bite of food and swish it around with water. This makes it much easier for them to digest. Chickens, on the other hand, need the grit to digest their food. Both use external elements to aid in digestion. Ducks also use water to clean their eyes and their nostrils. A duck can get quite dirty and buildup can form in those nose and eyes. Naturally know how to clean up by dunking their head in the water to clear away the gunk. This is all fine and dandy, but it also means that ducks love to make a mess. So keeping waters out of the coop will ensure that the area used for sleeping, protection, and nesting will remain clean and dry. A dirty, humid, enclosed space is bacteria's favorite place to live and thrive. For this reason, I opt to keep all waterers for chickens and ducks outside the coop. There are special waterers that you can also look into that keep themselves clean by design. Additionally, ducks cannot easily use most water fonts that were made for chickens. Their cute bills are much larger than a chicken's beak, and thus they may outgrow little founts as they mature. Additionally, a small kiddie pool will meet the duck's needs well enough. While chickens will drink from and maybe even wait around the pool on a hot day, they will most likely not be doing cannonballs. Now let's dive into the difference between chicken and duck food. Luckily, chickens and ducks can eat the same kind of feed as adults. However, chicks and ducklings can only eat the same type of starter feed if it is unmedicated because ducks tend to eat much more faster than chickens. They can consume too much of the medicated feed and become sick. Ducklings should have access to additional niacin. You can easily accomplish this by adding brewer's yeast to the food dish. To avoid any issues with overfeeding, it's often easier to keep young birds in separate brooders. If you want to check out our duck feeding guide, we put together an article. I'll link to that in the description. In addition, if you should keep different types of feeding bowls for the chickens and ducks, once again, a duck will have a harder time fitting its bill into the feeding dishes that are most commonly used for chickens when they are small. It isn't a problem until they're older. I learned that ducks are also very sloppy and messy eaters and it just does not mix well. You can experiment on your own, but I always recommend starting with separate feeders. Happily, chickens and ducks enjoy the same kind of treats. Since they are both omnivorous animals, they like to eat plant matter and meat morsels. Now let's talk about the coop for chickens and ducks. For the most part, chickens and ducks don't mind sharing a room at night. 
Ducks tend to be chatty Cathy's at night and this may actually disturb the chicken's beauty sleep. Ducks are like a playmate at a sleepover that won't turn in for the night giggling and playing while everyone else wants to get some sleep. It will work, but if chickens could talk, they would probably tell their owners how annoying their playmates are at night. Chickens and ducks won't roost together because ducks prefer to nest on the ground while chickens enjoy perching as far off the ground as possible. Nesting material for ducks is just as important as a perch is for chickens. Now let's get into the different behaviors in the behavior concerns. Generally, chickens and ducks are considered acquaintances rather than friends. They may share some of the same spaces. They will most likely go their separate ways during the day if given the opportunity. Unlike chickens, ducks do not place much of an emphasis on pecking orders. Ducks may squabble a bit and move on. Chickens seemingly obsess who over who is at the top. So it is true that chickens tend to be a bit more aggressive than ducks toward one another. This can be dangerous for a duck who's not interested in establishing a pecking order. A chicken's beak and talons are sharp and can damage a duck that is less equipped to battle with such a foe. Now, here's some important stuff. The difference between roosters and drakes. If they were raised together, it's possible to keep them together. Otherwise, they may become aggressive toward each other. This will all depend on the temperament of the two males. Keeping a drake without a rooster could be deadly to chicken hens due to the aggressive nature and anatomy of a drake. Drakes can easily injure a chicken hen, therefore keeping a protective rooster would be beneficial. Typically, having enough hens around for everyone will mean there's less to fight about, the more the merrier. All right, now let's get into the health issues. Chickens and ducks are plagued with a fair share of diseases and health concerns, but ducks tend to be quite hardy. Amazingly, they have higher body temperatures than chickens, preventing external parasites like mites from infesting ducks, thus fewer ways to contract diseases. Generally speaking, the best way to keep any flock healthy is to keep it clean. Since ducks love to make a mess, feeders, waterers, and even bedding can become perfect places for bacteria to thrive. It's essential to keep living quarters clean. So to summarize, Adding ducks to a flock of chickens can be an exciting new adventure for any chicken owner and vice versa. Ducks and chickens can coexist peacefully if given adequate space with a few tweaks here and there. If you found that helpful, I will see you in the next video where I actually talk about chicken bedding and it can actually work for ducks as well. So be sure to check that out. Also, lastly, to wrap up, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.